today we will continue our last topic that is dynamics of rigid body today we will get the proof of the our position of center of mass as we get our from last lecture where we calculate the position of center of mass which is given by the position vector rcm the value of rcm will be for a two particle system the mass of particle 1 and position of particle 1 from the origin plus mass of particle 2 and position of part mass particle 2 from origin upon sum of the masses this is the position of a center of mass for a two particle system today we will get the proof of this let us suppose that in a two particle system that in a two particle system external and internal both of types of forces are acting external and internal both types of forces both types of uh, if f1 is the external force f1 is the external force acting on the first particle acting having mass m1 and f1 f1 double dash is the internal force internal force first due to second the resultant force on first particle will be the resultant force on first particle will be the first particle given by f1 this will be the sum of external masses external force that is f1 dash internal forces that is given by f1 double dash similarly you can also get the diagram for this y axis then four two particles system that is m1 and this is origin so it has 0 0 0 point m1 has a position from origin which is given by r1 vector m2 has a position from origin that is given by r2 vector now center of mass must lie between on the line connecting between both the masses m1 and m2 somewhere now let us suppose this is the position of center of mass then this will be represented by r c at point C, we just assume that there is the center of mass of these two particle system. So, similarly, resultant force acting on second particle will be resultant force acting on the particle. Acting on the second particle. The second particle will be given by F2 and this will again will be sum of the external forces internal forces just like equation 1 so by Newton's second law of motion Newton's second law of motion what we have we have the rate of change in momentum the rate of change of momentum the rate of change of momentum of both the particles with the time of both the particles with time is equal to the forces acting on them is equal to the forces acting on them so the first particle what we have we have f1 is sum of external forces plus And for second particle, and for second particle, some of the external forces on them and internal force on them. This will be the rate of change in momentum of M2. 
Hence the total resultant force on the system will be hence the total resultant force on the system F vector so equal to the F plus so F vector will be the plus F1 internal plus F1 plus F2 internal this will be equal to chain in momentum of first particle second particle here F1 plus F2 double dash are equal to zero as the internal force is acting between the two particles equal and opposite F1 double dash plus F2 double dash these are the internal forces are equal and that's why it becomes as the internal between the two particles are equal and up. F factor is equal to F1 dash plus changing momentum we can also write this equation as M1 V1 vector plus V2 vector V1 is equal to velocity will be the changing position V2 will be in position of second. I'm putting these values over here d by dt m1 er1. This will be a d square by dt of m1 r1 plus m2. As the total mass m1 plus m2 of system is supposed to be considered concentrated at its center of mass, which we will move with acceleration d square rcm upon dt square. Total mass will be. capital M will be M1 plus M2 and it's moving with acceleration acceleration d square by dt square of if external force F is applied on it then the force acting on the system will be if capital F applied on it the M1 plus M2 d square upon dt square of on getting this will be the equation 2 M1 plus M2 d square by dt square is equal to d square by so here we can get RCM will be M1 R1 plus M2 R2 upon M1 plus this equation represents the position vector of a two particle system of masses M1 and and if center of masses will be students center if center of mass will be at origin will be at origin position of center mass will be also so by equation 3 we can write by equation 3 m1 r1 plus m2 r2 is also 0 that means vector sum of mass moments of all particles mass vector sum of Vector sum mass moments of all particles about center of mass is zero. Due to this reason, center of mass is the point about which vector sum of mass moments of all the particles is zero. That means we can write finally summation of M i R i equals to 0 where i is equal to 1 2 where r i is the position vector of particle about center of r i is the position vector of the particle position vector of the particle about center of next chapter not next lecture we will read about the two particle system in nature and we can get the reduced mass of a two particle system.